Hello everyone, it's Bookie again from Sawadee Cat channel and also if you follow me on the Facebook and Instagram, I'm also on Bookie Style Cook as well. And today I'm in the mood for something pretty cute. I have been posting some posts uh, in the past a uh, couple of times for this dish um, but I never had the chance to do the video before how I make my goldfish dumpling. You need 100 grams of minced pork and the same amount of minced prawn and uh, 30 grams of uh, chopped bamboo shoot, uh, a bit of chive and um, a clove or two of uh, chopped garlic, a bit of soy sauce, um, sesame oil, a bit of sugar, salt and pepper to your flavor. I will put uh, the description of this recipe into the website sawadeecat.com as well. Those bits are the, for the filling of this goldfish. Come to the dough bit to make the goldfish. We will need about 120 grams of plain flour, 80 grams of wheat flour, salt and pepper, and uh, to make it cute and pretty, like I said, I will need some of the uh, food coloring. But today I'm going to use a bit of orange, a bit of red, and uh, black as well to make our dough. Right, and um, now we know all the ingredients that we need. I'm just going to get mixing our dough. And before we started, I forgot to mention we need uh, warm water to mix the dough as well. So if you can prepare about 100 to 120 ml of uh, warm water, warm to hot water, ready, that would be great. But we're going to add bit by bit, okay? Let's get started. So we need wheat flour in. And the plain flour. So, and pepper. I like my dough to have the flavor, so seasoning is quite important, okay? Just going to put a little bit of hot water in for now, and then I will add we're looking for the texture of the dough to come together so keep checking so check your dough if you need a little bit more flour then do so but I think our dough is Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I often sometimes have to adjust. You know you have to play with your feeling, but I think I just got it. All the hard work pay off. So many fail time. <laughs> right. We're going to do the goldfish. So I need the color of the goldfish, which are main main part will be the orange. So going to have the big chunk of the orange color and then I'll separate some part for the red bit red color and uh, we want the eye to be the black color keep your dough uh, cover when you're not working on it because you don't want them to dry out okay let's put a little bit of food coloring in you can use powder or use the gel one or use the liquid one just read the uh, product instruction or just eyeballing it see that uh, you got the color and the texture that you want okay I'm just going to do some kneading just to put the color together a bit more it doesn't matter that it need to be like sort of a blend in properly you can have it just so forgiving this dough. One done, two to go. And like you can see, I got all the color here. Now it's the time to have fun. Just going to mix all the color together. 
somehow. So just roll out into cylinder like that. And I want my orange color to be the uh, prominent color. Prominent. I can say the word prominent. Sometimes I come up with some other word, but I mean prominent. <laughs> well, this can be both koi carp or goldfish. <laughs> the color it might come out to be like koi carp. Um, oh well, it's pokey fish. I'm making it up. And the black, we're going to separate into two portions. And um, one is for the eyes of the fish. So we're going to put that aside for now. Keep it covered. Right, we're going to roll this tree color together like that. Right. And then I will portion it into like sort of about an inch thickness. Like that. Right, we're going to work on a few of them now. The rest, just cover it with cling film. Put a bit of flour on your work surface. You know, the cookie cutter ring box to flatten it down. Like that. And just roll it out. I would look at the thickness about two or three mil. So it's not too thick uh, when we steam it. It will be like nice and still got a bit of chew and uh, quite quite nice to, to eat then. The ingredient I told you earlier, the minced pork, the king prawn, the, uh, all the sauces and the bamboo shoot, it has been mixed into here. And to make your fish uniform or, or about the same size, use the cutting ring. So you know exactly that you're going to get literally the same looking fish or same size of the fish. All you need to do now, just put the filling in like that. If you want, just have a little bit of water nearby if you try to pinch the dough together. So I do it like that. Fold the side of the dough and then clamp it together. Then this end, I just fold it up. It's beginning to look a lot like fish. <laughs> and then I just like try to make the pattern of the tail, fish tail. Then I'm just going to make the eye socket, like a bit of big eye, and the mouth. So the fish go, mm, 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 like that. <laughs> and then you can use the um, straw to make the scale pattern on the side of the fish like that. Right, now we need the eye. And that one fish then. Ta-da! My second dumpling is done. The goldfish. <laughs> right, that shall go into our steamer. Okay, I have been uh, steaming the fish for 12 minutes now so let's see whoa look at that <laughs> and here is my fish in the pond the goldfish just happily swimming around and um, if you like uh, what i've done please follow me on swatdcat.com and uh, Bookie Style Cook. Uh, you can see me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you very much.